Good afternoon. George Cavaligos for HFT Bonds. Uh, been in and out uh, some family stuff going on today, guys. I haven't been around much. I'm sorry, but uh, be back at it full time tomorrow. What do we see today? Um, you know, new lows last night by a tick. We took out uh, Friday's low by a tick overnight in both the bonds and notes. And they tried to rally, and then our London buddies came in and uh, slammed the market again. I think we made another new low around, I don't know, around 6 o'clock Chicago time. And then I started seeing some buyers come in. Actually, some of the best buying I'd seen since that one big lift late Friday afternoon. And we tried to rally, and the bonds couldn't get above settlement. They did fill the settlement gap where hopefully you guys were listening, and I said exit some longs here. I should have got out of everything, and I didn't. And then I put the plus one stop on everything else and went to a funeral. Just got back, and I see we've made new lows again, and we're trying to bounce again. You know, these bounces and these new lows have been kind of like clockwork lately. If you're nimble, they're great trades. Stay nimble. Um, I'm getting a little worried. Um, you know, I love to see open interest increasing, confirming the move down. We did see that Friday, but it was big. I mean, the whole curve, open interest was up big on the whole Treasury curve Friday. Now, I don't know if that means some weak, long, weak shorts got in or whatever, but I get a little uncomfortable, as my old buddy Yubi used to say, when the bus gets too crowded, you got to be careful. I think the bus is getting crowded. Well, it's not like I'm going to start trading crazy from the long side all day long, but I think if you're short, you definitely move your stops down and be on your toes. You know, the markets come down hard. Um, interesting that the 10 years still haven't taken out their non-farm payroll lows at 124.11 plus. We'll see. Bunch of numbers popping up in the bonds, 129.21 and then 127.21. I don't know about that 127.21 level at this point, but uh, some of the wave structure looks like this move is getting a little bit mature, I guess is the word. So I'm just saying it's time if you've been short for a while to keep your stops nice and tight. Don't get uh, too greedy. And again, tomorrow, no news. Tiny buyback tomorrow. No buyback Wednesday because the Fed minutes are coming out. Um, a lot of stuff coming the latter part of this week, uh, Wednesday. The Jackson Hole thing starts, or Thursday actually, the Jackson Hole meeting starts. That goes through Saturday. Um, I don't know how important that's going to be. Bernanke's not there. Draghi's not there. I think a couple of the other big central bank guys are not there. So the minutes tomorrow could be interesting. I think, or no, on Wednesday, I mean. The minutes are on Wednesday. Sorry, I'm, I'm gassed. This uh, thing took a lot out of me today. So I'm going to try and get some rest. Um, one thing I will keep an, an eye on here is the yen is drifting higher, and I think it's bound and determined to take stops out on the upside here. And if it does rally, it could drag the bonds with it, even though those correlations have not been great lately. Just something to be careful here. I guess I'm a cautious bear at this point, very cautious bear. Have a great night. I'll see you guys tomorrow.